It's finally here! In this video we will look at how to paint your artwork in Procreate, um, we'll look at the settings and brushes and then we will print it using Printful. But we will look at the finished piece later on. So first we need to understand what size of canvas do we need. So in order to do that, we will head over to Printful's homepage and look at their product catalog. For the purpose of this video, I used a poster. This first one is a great option. I have previously ordered it and it turned out nicely. And I already have a frame for it, so I will just take the 16 by 20 inch size. This one will be a sample order, so it's even cheaper than a regular order. Here in the design maker we can see our canvas, the exact size that it's going to be in here. We will upload the finished piece when we're done in Procreate. So I'm going to switch this to horizontal just because um, I have something in mind that, and I want it to be horizontal. Um, so we can see our size there and the most important thing will be here in the guidelines because we want to know what settings um, to put in Procreate. So here we can see that we need 300 dpi and we need to create our canvas in sRGB color profile. That is very, very important because you might have heard that if you want to print something, you need to do it in CMYK color profile, but it's not the case with Printful. Now let's jump into Procreate. We will create a brand new canvas and uh, we will switch to inches. Enter the exact size that you chose in Printful. And remember, 300 dpi. Now we need to go and choose the color profile. For most of you, it will be sRGB automatically, but if you have CMYK, switch to sRGB. This tutorial won't be very structured, step-by-step, follow-along kind of tutorial. It's more for inspiration. First, I like to lay down kind of like a paper or canvas texture as a background. For this artwork, I wanted to create something kind of like flowing, some something like like an explosion of paint or <laughs> I don't really know how to say that, but um, I wanted to have movement. That was my only idea and approximately colors, some of them I had in mind. As for brushes, I will be using the ones that I have made previously. They are designed especially for abstract paintings. Uh, I will leave a link uh, in the description where to get them. They are priced very affordably, I think. In this video, you will see me switching brushes and layers multiple times. And even here you can see that I switched to eraser. So I think that would be my main tip for paintings. For the abstract ones, just use a lot of brushes, create a lot of layers. That way, like it will have, it will be more realistic instead of just looking digital. I will also speed up multiple parts in this video so I don't take too much of your time. I tried to cut this video as short as I can, but actually it took me less than an hour to create this and also order this. For me at least it's usually very difficult to start a new piece. That the blank canvas in the beginning, it's just horrifying. But once, once you start laying down some first colors and some first shapes and textures, it, it kind of it's just starts to get better and better. Just need to get past that ugly phase.
Fun fact, many of these brushes that I'm using right here are actually made from my own paintings, um, both uh, physical and digital. These leaf stamps are actually made from leaves in my backyard, right here in Northern Europe. Here I will be playing around with some blend modes. Don't forget you have this option too, to create some more interesting colors. My main goal when creating abstracts is to try and go for the look of really rich textures. Like have them just so, so many, so layer on layer and all sorts of various brushes. So you can see me here using something as a stamp and as a brush and then paint with it, erase with it. Just try to do as many different things as you can in your abstract. I will also try to link uh, one of my previous videos, um, tips for abstract paintings, somewhere here on top.
So now it's time to sign it and export it. We will export it as a JPEG. Just save it to your photos. And now I am going to upload it on Printful. Here we don't really need to change anything because we prepared our artwork in the size that we selected in Printful. They also have a lot of good mockups, so it makes easier to sell your artwork. I'm so excited! I have no idea how it will turn out. I hope it's good. I really, really hope it's good. <laughs> so, um, they also have a really fast shipping, which is awesome. Oh, it, it looks nice. It looks really, really nice. Oh, the colors. They're so vibrant. Like, it looks exactly how I wanted it to look. It, the colors are deep and they just look rich and the white is really bright and look at all the details look at it look how the brushes turn out they look amazing in, in my opinion um, leave a comment let me know what you think uh, do you think it looks good or have you tried ordering any of your artwork Yes, I'm very, very happy. I, I'm happy with my purchase, a happy customer. I quickly wanted to show you uh, one of my previous prints that I ordered uh, from Printful, how it turned out. It's a portrait of my dog, Cooper. Uh, I think it looks amazing as well. Um, very good colors, very nice. So I framed my painting, I'm very happy. But I really, really want to hear your thoughts. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, for commenting, for your likes. And uh, subscribe to see more videos. Bye!